the historic announcement from NFL player Carl Nassib, revealing that he is gay, becoming the first active NFL player to come out. This is Carl Nassib of the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders defensive end Carl Nassib making a very personal matter public today, announcing on his Instagram just a bit ago that he is gay, making him the first active NFL player to announce he's gay. I'm Carl Nassib. I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I just want to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. NASA made the announcement yesterday on his social media channels. I really have the best life. I got the best family, friends, and job a guy could ask for. Um, I'm a pretty private person, so I hope you guys know that I'm really not doing this for attention. Um, I just think that representation and visibility are so important. Um, I actually hope that like one day, Videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. Um, but until then, you know, I'm going to do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. And I'm going to start by donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project. Super strong, genuine statement from him. Bravo, Carl. Bravo. Congratulations. Gay athletes like Olympic figure skater Adam Rippon praising his courage. It really makes me emotional because it reminds me of like me being young and I didn't see that representation and to just see it now in pro sports, it changes the game. Well, it's history. I mean, I, just watching that, I, I got a little emotional. I got a little emotional when the news broke earlier on NFL Live, um, just overwhelmed by his bravery in doing this. And in revealing this information, um, he's helping a lot of people. I mean, millions of people are gonna be watching this, reading the news, getting you know ESPN news alerts, and they're gonna feel a little bit more accepted today than they did yesterday because of Carl. And well put here from ESPN's Bina Kimes. He's on my team and I'm on the Raiders, and if you say something to my teammate, I'm gonna have an issue with you. And the opposing team, if you say something derogatory to him, I'm gonna have a problem with you as my teammate. Man, this is 2022, I done fast forwarded six months. We live in six months ahead, man. This is not 1948. Get out of the woods and out of the big black trucks with the flags, stop it. That's not where we're at anymore. Take it from a 20 year NFL pro and Super Bowl champ, Keyshawn Johnson. Nassib's head coach, John Gruden, voiced his support for the fifth-year pro. He described it as a moment of gratitude and relief, and although his demeanor may not have shown it, he said, sadly, I have agonized over this moment for the last 15 years. Many will remember Michael Sam being drafted by the Rams in the sixth round, though he did not make the team. At the time, he was the first openly gay player to be drafted into the NFL. The president and CEO of the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, Sarah Kate Ellis, said, here's the truth. Everyone owes Michael Sam such a bit of gratitude. He did something that very few people do. They gave up something, which is potentially his entire career in the NFL for something greater. Nassib's case is different, as he has played and succeeded in the NFL for years now, making him the first active NFL player to come out. He is currently in the midst of a $25 million contract. Sports are, in many ways, one of the last bastions of a place where homophobia can thrive, said Kathy Renna spokeswoman for the National LGBTQ Task Force. So to have a pro athlete of that caliber, particularly in one of the major sports leagues like the NFL, it really is historic. Recall former NFL corner Chris Culver's comments in 2013 when he said, I don't do the gay guys, man. I don't do that. No, we don't got no gay people on the team. They got to get up out of here if they do. Can't be with that sweet stuff. Nah, can't be. And the locker room, man, nah. Former Seahawks corner Chris Clemens also berated a potential gay teammate in now deleted tweets. Responding to another user, Clemens called it a selfish act. Robert Klemko, formerly of the MMQB, reflected on a quote one NFL coordinator gave to him in 2013, beyond offensive, beyond wrong. However, the tide may be turning. In his post, Nassib thanked family and friends. He also thanked the league, his coaches, and other players. Quote, I would not have been able to do this without them. From the jump, I was greeted with the utmost respect and acceptance. There have been 15 players who came out after playing, or in the case of Michael Sam in 2014, was out after being drafted but never made a roster.